Hello, today I'm going to take you on a tour of my chicken yard. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I raise chickens which are bred towards the standard of perfection. Uh, but they're not necessarily show chickens because I don't really show other than letting my kids show locally at the fairs. Uh, I'm really looking into showing a little bit more here in the near, very, very near future. But I've raised Partridge Wine Up Bantams for 20 years, probably actually longer than that since, oh, I hate to say, 96, 95, something like that. And I've the last four or five years I've been really raising uh, Buckeye Bantams a lot. I've really been focusing on them a lot. And then I always have a few other different varieties around here because that's what the kids want and that's what they get for their fair projects. Uh, so with that I'm going to take you on a little tour of what our chicken yard looks like. Well, we'll start over here where I've got eight conditioning pens that are not in use right now. We're not conditioning anything. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can kind of see them in this this camera i tried this with another camera and it didn't work so well but i don't really like using these conditioning pens until i have to because they're two foot by three foot and the birds aren't they just don't love being in such a small area the only thing i put in here is some small pullets i put one in each cage when i'm getting them ready to show this first cage here just uh one wind up pullet she's in here because she's going to go broody real soon uh all I gotta do to get her to go broody basically is let her keep her eggs for a week or two and she'll start setting. My wine nuts are really good about setting. Over here we have my daughter's <coughs> black old English. He's only been here a couple weeks. It's a beautiful bird. She got him to show this fall at the fair. He's got a buck I pulled in there with him because when I first brought him here, he was a nervous wreck. Just back and forth across his wires. Boom, 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 like that. And uh, put that pull in there and it's really calmed down a lot. He's, as you can see, he's a beautiful bird, though. I think uh, he should do really well at the fair. This little building here with the window open is actually my ch chick pen. That's where I keep my baby chicks. You can... oh, there's chicks in here running around. Love to hide behind that heater yeah. there's uh let this down these are oh if I can catch you one they're getting wild I haven't been working with enough these are partridge wine dots there this one in my hand and all these buff colored looking ones are buckeyes all these ones And this is a silver duckling old english and there should be some white ones like this are the uh, white wine dots that's the only ones we have in there that one needs his butt cleaned we're gonna have to clean up i can match with these checks here in a little bit the only reason they're all cut cuddled back there is because i'm scared i scared them back there they're not cold by any means uh, this is our locking system screwdriver through there Here's the white wine dots. Uh, these are one of the kids' fair projects too. This, she's gonna need cleaned up and put in condition pen. She won't quit digging, getting herself dirty. Here's a couple Buckeye pullets. They're uh, over here by themselves because they're leaving very soon. They don't really have a purpose here anymore. Uh, they've served their purpose. They're decent birds, just we know our needle. Back over here, get up girl. We got the uh, black old English pullet. She came with the black cock we got back there, but uh, trying to get her in condition to show the fall, so I don't want her in there getting tore up with it by him. You can see her feathers are already pretty mangled up. Probably gonna have to force her to go into a molt before then. Here's a silver duckling pullet. Uh, these are my partridge wine dots. He's a pretty bird, but not 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 near as good a bird as his dad was. But his dad just got so old we had to get rid of him. See, their nest box is pretty basic. These are Buckeyes. See, my most of my the Buckeyes and my Wyandots, they're not skittish at all. They're used to me. And <clears throat> then in this house, it's Buckeyes. These are just grow outs. 
I'll go around here to the outside of it. <clears throat> so I think there's 25. I th yeah, there's 25 in this pen. I'm trying to remember what was in each pen. 25 Buckeye grow outs in this pen. Uh, the outside runs 10 by 10 on it. And then it's got a what is it six by five to the inside. This one over here has also got a 10 by 10 outside run with a four by 10 inside. And it's actually got uh, 30 Buckeye grow outs in it and two or three wine dots. And these birds here are the oldest girls I have. The ones in the cage, first cage I showed you are two weeks younger. And then over here, these birds are another two weeks younger yet than the youngest ones. And it's mostly all Buckeyes here too. There's a few wind out there's a wind up pullet. This is a cage that I really don't like to use. It's, this was a duck cage. Now we're out of the duck business. So you can see we just we converted it into a chicken cage. For grow outs, it's got snow fence and a makeshift roof on it. And well, that's the chicken yard.